Hello, welcome. My name is Prue Larue, or oh, Prue is like my full name, and welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna do well. I will... There's a cat's tail. Um, I was going to do a tutorial look, and then I realized it's more like a first impressions because my Beautylish order just came in this morning. So I'm wearing one of the lips I bought, and this is Cubby from Sugar Pill. I've been inspired by Annette lately. She was wearing watermelon soda and I think I complained her. I said one of my friends said that it didn't That it was too bright for me, but of course Annette was like no wear it wear it And that's one of the things I absolutely love about Annette is that she it just encourages us to enjoy our makeup and not listen to silly people <laughs> and Huge congratulations to her on the like Angelica and Annette's collab, two of my favorite creators together. I'll link it up. Moving right along. Today I'm going to do, so I've got my very first sugar pill shadow and I chose kimchi. So this is a shade that I've sort of been eyeing off for a long time. It was sort of between this one and Midori, which is the green. Here it is. Uh, I swatched it earlier and it does swatch a bit shit. I feel like a lot of people talk about these shadows like they're the next best thing. So, and I already feel like I'm going to be disappointed. It's just terrible. I know. But, you know, let's try. Let's have a play. Alright, so I'm going to do a full blue look. And I've just pulled out my options. So these are the colours we're going to be using today. This is Megalodon from Sydney Grace Co. Afterlife, Afterlife from Enchanted Luster. The... No. Kimchi from Sugar Pill and Inglot Black in J325. So these are the colors we're gonna be using today to make this look. I've put the NARS primer down and I'm gonna be back for a wear test, which I feel like has been ages since I've done that. So I'm excited to do it. I'm also, it's like midday, but I'm still waking up. Uh, so I'm sure I'm gonna ruin my lipstick by the end. All right, I'm gonna pull out some of my fancy brushes because I feel like it today. And I'm going to pull out the most expensive brush in my collection, the Sonry G Worker 1. I'll just bring you in a little bit closer. I'm not feeling, I don't know, my last video, my Donate Life collab with Valerie that I just edited. Um, I wasn't really feeling all my pores. I did put a pore priming, my, I did put the MAC pore primer on today in the hopes of avoiding uh, just, I don't know, it's funny. And you're like, oh my god, so many pores. So many pores, I don't know how I feel about it. Um, so, uh, yeah. I'm feeling a bit scarred, so you're gonna stay a bit further away today. Okay, this is beautiful. Ah, uh, now, I know what I did in that last video now. I keep forgetting to have it, like, compact with me. And I'm just bringing it into circular motions and sort of windscreen wipering it at the same time, which is uh, difficult to explain. All right, damn, I think I'm gonna buy the full that new set of shadows that they've just released. I just wish that Sugar Pill wasn't so, f like, I don't need a pan this big. Uh, and I wish that they did half size pans. And that they were cheaper. But that is beautiful. All right, I'm gonna bring you in because this just feels awkward. And I have a problem, I like to keep everything in its packaging uh, until I get sick of it. <laughs> because at the end of the day, if you really love something, you will grab it out a lot. Right, so using that same brush, I've just cleaned it off. I'm going in with my J325. Oh, damn. I kind of forgot how pigmented this black was. So I'm just going to put the pigment on with this brush. And then I'm going to move into oh, my Wayne Goss 6 brush. Which is a very nice sort of dainty small brush. I'm going to use this to blend it up. 
Oh, right, let's blend this one because you can see it. I feel like I look really dark. This is what happens when you look in the viewfinder. You start questioning the positioning of everything. But I think it's because I left my window open, so my lighting's a bit off. There we go. Alright, I think I'm sort of happy with what I've done. Now, I regret putting this back in the box because I want some more of this. So I'm not cutting the crease today. I'm just not in the mood. And when you cut the crease with a concealer, I thought this had a bloody mirror. Uh, concealer just tends to last ages and uh, all the shadow, all the eye looks I've done recently that I haven't come back for eye look for wear tests have just worn really nicely. When you've got that glitter and you're doing that level, when you've got the glitter and you're doing a cut crease, I just don't have a problem at all with wear, like with the wear. But I feel like I'm just not the kind of person who would put concealer on their face every day. Though, I guess I should try like a full concealer eyeshadow primer look shouldn't I that would be make sense I'm still trying to figure out so I've, I've got three different primers to compare I could also do concealer and so I'm just gonna go on my finger for this one and we're going to Megalodon from Sydney Grace Co oh damn I ain't got for that cool I'm still trying to figure out what eyeshadow I should compare because I'm happy to use an eyeshadow and compare it with all the primers throughout the day but I don't know which eyeshadow to use and I've got a heap um I do sort of the Morphe one but oh that would be boring to do looks with um or if I should stick to a drugstore one or do both I don't know I just can't decide uh, if you've got any ones that you'd like to see, let me know. I do have, I do have most brands, to be honest. All right, I think I got most of that off. And let's go in with to Afterlife from Enchanted Lustre. And this is from their Halloween collection that they had. Um, but she sort of always does a few collections, so yeah. And realistically, it, it's, it's a duochrome. Uh, duochrome green blue it is stunning though but I think she also does custom eyeshadows anyway there's there's always something you can buy from somewhere that's really what it all comes down to oh damn I keep all right this kimchi channel needs to stay out so going on that same brush and I'm just going to bring kimchi and sort of smoke it out. Alright, I feel like I'm officially done with kimchi. And look how cute their packaging is. I'm still, well in truth I'm not completely decided about this one but Asphyxia from Urban Decay I'm going to go in with this one in Waterline Alright, I can't really bother lining today I'm just not in the mood I'm sorry but I am going to curl my lashes and I've got my little mini inglot do that Uh, 
Um, mascara. Which one shall I choose today? I'm gonna go with my MAC one. I actually don't know. I'm, I think this is the MAC Extreme. If you know what it is, can you let me know? Because it seriously just says mascara. So, did that end up being first impressions? No, I've used all these over. I guess it's a tutorial, isn't it? I don't know. I'll call this a tutorial. Mmm. Oh. I got myself so good in the eye. <sighs> Let's have a coffee. Mm. Oh, I don't know how I'm gonna fix this. Um, Let's go on with some concealer. I know you meant to wait for it to dry, but I'm pretty sure it's dry. And it ain't going anywhere. I'm just gonna blend this in. Cool. And I feel like I just need. I'm gonna go in with this shade. Oh. Visual? I'm not sure what shade this is. They've got a. It's upside down on the back. I feel like it's gotta be Bejour though. But see. So you got the eyeshadows, and then you flip it, and it's upside down and backwards. I'm sure it might make sense to one of you, but I'm pretty sure it's Jujur, and I just want to blend this in to the top. And while we're here, let's bring... This is the Benefit Highbrow Pencil. I just like this. Because I'm really lazy when it comes to putting stuff on my... When it comes to highlighting the brow. And for me, this just takes the guessing out of it. I do, I do like what this lip's doing. But I got a lip colour. The other day. I think I'm just going to go to the top of this one. It feels like I can. But I just picked up the Jeffree Star Tiffany. Breakfast at Tiffany's. A lip. I'm gonna wipe this off before it dries. I really wish I had taken off the other lip. So let's do that quickly. Um, but you can absolutely, you can recreate this look with pretty much any eyeshadows you've got. Cause it is the basic combo of light color in the crease and black in the outer corner, shimmer on the lid, lighter shimmer on the inner corner. And this is this is the same uh, foundation. It's just that the other foundation is dried. So I'm going to go in with Romeo, just because I want to see all these colours on my lips. Romeo is my new favorite. All right, we are done. And here we are at the final look. Um, I hope you enjoyed. I think I'm in love with that sugar pill formula. I was hoping that wouldn't happen, but it did. 
Uh, thank you so much for watching. Mwah. Let's check in. Now I haven't even touched these lips since you last saw them and it's pretty good. I'll put how long it's been. But there's a little bit of lid lossage here. Definite fadage there, but not too bad. And this one looks pretty solid. Not too bad at all. I'm impressed. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Mm. Mm -hmm.